13 inch MacBook Air Model A 1369 logic board replacement. This applies to year 2010 and 2011. Make sure that the Mac is completely shut down. Close the lid, flip it over. We'll be removing the 10 screws that are securing the back panel to the unit. We're going to need a proprietary Apple's star shaped pentalope screwdriver bit. Starting in the top left corner, remove the small screw first. Now, the next two screws in the center up top are slightly longer than the rest of the screws. Just keep an eye on them. Once you remove them, set them aside and remove the remaining eight screws. With the screws out of the way, go ahead and gently lift up on the back panel and move it out of the way. Locate the battery connection, lift it by its tab, and wiggle it left to right as you pull on it. Let's disconnect the input and output board data cable. It's connected on the right and the left. You can disconnect it by gently lifting up on the socket and then just peeling the cable back. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. The fan is secured with three screws. Let's remove the top right first, then the one on the left. We need to disconnect the I.O. board power cable to expose the third and final screw. Just unplug it and move it out of the way. With the third screw removed, we need to lift up the eyelash carefully before we pull the power cable for the fan. You can just get underneath it like this and just pull it out. And now we can safely remove the fan. Moving on on the left side of the board, go ahead and gently lift up the eyelash that's guarding the LVDS cable connection. Once that's up, you can just tilt it back and gently grab the cable and move it left to right as you pull back on it out of its socket. Going underneath with a plastic tool, you can disconnect the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna cables by just pushing up on them. On the bottom left corner of the board, go ahead and locate the speaker cable. Get underneath it and just push up and it should pop out of its socket. In the center of the board is the keyboard connection. Push up on the eyelash and then pry underneath the cable gently and slowly and you can push it out of its socket. We're going to need a T5 screwdriver bit. We can start removing the screws that are securing the logic board. This one right near the SSD, then the one to the right of the LVDS port, then the third right to the right of the Bluetooth, the fourth one near the fan, and then the fifth one on the left side of the fan. There's a sixth screw that's underneath the SSD card. Go ahead and remove the SSD card and that will expose the sixth screw. With that screw removed, there's one final tiny screw on the right side of the heat sink. With that removed, you can go ahead and start removing the logic board right out of its socket. If you carefully wiggle it, just make sure not to bend the heatsink. A1370 logic board reinstallation. Make sure that the rubber gasket is aligned and on the heatsink of the logic board before you start putting it back. Go ahead and align the logic board with the keyboard connector first and use a plastic tool to tuck it into the slot because this is the hardest cable to connect. You should connect it and lock it in with the eyelash. Now drop the board in and slide it underneath the metal uh, part in the top left corner first. Then adjust everything else. Once everything's aligned, go ahead and start securing the uh, screw near the fan first. 
Now secure the remaining four screws, the one on the left of the Bluetooth card, the one on the right of the Bluetooth Wi-Fi card, the one right under the LVDS connector, and then the one that goes underneath the solid state disk. Just like in this video, it's very easy to trap the Bluetooth Wi-Fi card cables. You can fish them out quite easily. On the right side of the board, we can now go ahead and secure the heat sink to the case. Let's put the solid state disk back, just slide it in. Go ahead and secure that screw. Reconnect the left speaker. Reconnect the LVDS cable. Make sure to push it in all the way. Go ahead and reconnect the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card cable antennas. Put the fan into its socket as you're plugging it into the logic board. Make sure to lock in the lever. Go ahead and lift up the rubber gasket and place the fan in. Secure the bottom screw of the fan first. Then secure the top left and the top right. You can plug the I.O. board into the logic board and reconnect the I.O. board data cable over the top on the left side first, then on the right. Gently reinsert the battery back into its socket on the logic board. Make sure it's firmly in. Place the cover back and secure the cover with the 10 screws. Put in the two longer screws and the top middle first and then you can screw in the remaining eight screws that are shorter. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it very helpful.